A boost to business confidence in Belconnen with the federal government opening a state-of-the-art public service building. The workplace is worth over $23 million and will house the Australian Institute of Health and Welfare. The opening of this building by the Minister for Health and Senator Zed Seselja, a welcome distraction for a public service sector struck hard by the Commonwealth Acts. Well, the old, old buildings uh, were certainly getting a bit old and tired. Uh, they certainly didn't have the thermal efficiency and thermal comfort uh, that these ones do have. It is a significant investment worth over $23 million and designed by local architects. But obviously also the ongoing uh, investment is, is much greater because you've got 330 staff who will be here, who will uh, live and work in the area, which is fantastic. The building will house the Australian Institute of Health and Welfare, a department the federal government says is invaluable. It's been granted a 15-year lease. Well, over the 25 years we've developed a lot of information that the Australian community wouldn't otherwise have. We've improved information and comparability across states and territories. Win News given the first look inside this building, which staff contributed to designing. Fittingly for the department, the layout includes splashes of colour and adaptable workspaces. It does have the capacity to grow uh, to over 400. Uh, it's a state-of-the-art building, so uh, very comfortable office accommodation, uh, very good energy rating, uh, which means it'll be cheaper to run. Estimates show the ACT is on track to lose 6,500 public servants by 2017. But the government says it's important to talk up the capital. We always see challenges. We see challenges in Canberra at the moment. Uh, but what we're going to see is uh, 330 staff here and hopefully that will grow. David Shiraz, Win News.